Hi everybody, welcome back to a new PyTorch tutorial. This time we talk about the soft max function and the cross entropy loss. These are one of the most common functions used in neural networks, so you should know how they work. Now I will teach you the math behind these functions and how we can use them in NumPy and in PyTorch. And at the end I will show you how a typical classification neural network with those functions look like. So let's start. And this is the formula of the softmax. So it applies the exponential function to each element and normalizes it by dividing by the sum of all these exponentials. So what it does, it basically squashes the output to be between 0 and 1. So we get probabilities. So let's have a look at an example. Let's say we have a linear layer which has three output values. And these values are so-called scores or logits. So they are raw values. And then we apply the softmax and get probabilities. So each value is squashed to be between 0 and 1. And the highest value here gets the highest probability. And yeah, if we sum these three probabilities up, then we get 1. And then this is our prediction and then we can choose for the uh, class with the highest probability. So yeah, that's how the softmax works. And now let's have a look at the code. So here I already implemented it in NumPy. So we can calculate this in one line. So first we have the exponential and then we divide by the sum over all these exponentials. And now let's run this. This has the same values as in my slide. And then here we also see that the highest value, the highest logit has the highest probability. Um, I rounded them, them in my slide, so it's slightly different, but basically we see that it's correct. And of course we can also uh, calculate it in PyTorch and for this we create a tensor. So let's say x equals torch dot tensor and it gets the same values as this one. And then we can say outputs equals torch dot softmax of x. And we also must specify the dimension. So we say dim equals zero. So it computes it along the first axis. And now let's print these outputs. So yeah, here we see that the result is almost the same. So this works. And now let's continue. So a lot of times the soft max function is combined with the so called cross entropy loss. So this measures the performance of our classification model whose output is a probability between 0 and 1. And it can be used in multi-class um, problems. And the loss increases as the predicted probability diverges from the actual label. So the better our prediction, the lower is our loss. So here we have two examples. Um, so here this is a good prediction and then we have a low cross entropy loss and here this is a bad prediction and then we have a high cross entropy loss. And what we also must know is that in this case our Y must be hot, uh, one hot encoded. So let's say we have three uh, three possible classes, class 0, 1 and 2. And in this case the correct label is the class 0. So here we must put a 1 and for all the other classes we must put a 0. So this is how we do one hot encoding. And then for the predicted y we must have probabilities. So for example we applied the soft max here before. And yeah, so now again, let's have a look at the code, how we do this in NumPy. So we can calculate this here. So we have the sum over the actual labels times the log 
of the predicted labels and then we must put a minus one at the beginning and to, we can also uh, normalize it but we don't do this here so we could um, divide it by the number of samples and then we create our y so as i said this must be one hot encoded so here we have other examples so if it is class one then it must look like this for example and then down here we put our two predictions so these are now probabilities so the first one has a good prediction because also here the class zero has the highest probability and the second prediction is a bad prediction so here class zero gets a very low probability and class two gets a high probability and now then I compute the entropy the cross entropy and predict both of them so let's run this and here we see that the first prediction has a low loss and the second prediction has a high loss and now again let's see how we can do this in PyTorch so um, for this first we create the loss so we say loss equals nn from the neural torch nn uh, module nn dot uh, cross entropy loss and now what we must know let's have a look at the slides again so here we have to be careful because the cross entropy loss already applies the log soft max and then the negative log likelihood loss so we should not or must not implement the soft max layer for ourselves so this is the first thing we must know and the second thing is that here um, our y must not be one hot encoded so we should only put the correct class label here and also the y predictions um, has raw scores so no softmax here so be careful about this and now let's see this in practice so let's say let's create our actual labels and this is a torch.tensor and now here we only put the correct class label so let's say in this case it's class 0 and not one hot encoded anymore and then we have a good prediction y prediction good equals torch dot tensor and then here we must be careful about the size so this has the size uh, number of samples times the number of classes so let's say in our case we have one sample and three possible classes so this is an array of arrays and here we put in 2.0 1.0 and 0.1 and remember and uh, this these are the raw values so we didn't apply the softmax and here the highest or the the class 0 has the highest value so this is a good prediction and now let's make a bad prediction so prediction bad so here the very first value is a lower value let's say and the second value is high and let's change this also a little bit and now we compute our loss like this so now we call the loss function that we created here and then we put in the y prediction and the actual y and the same with our uh, second let's compute a second loss with y prediction bad and y and now let's print them so let's print l1 dot item so it only has one value so we can call the item function and also l2 dot item so let's run this 
And yeah, here we see that our good prediction has a lower cross entropy loss. So this works. And now to get the actual predictions, we can do it like this. So let's say underscore because we don't need this and then predictions predictions equals torch dot max and then here we put in the prediction so y prediction good and then along the first dimension and also the same with the bad one so let's call this prediction one and prediction two um, and let's print our prediction. So predictions one and print predictions two. So this will here we see that we choose the highest probability. So in this case, we choose this one. And in, in the second case, we choose this one. So class number one here. So this is how we get the predictions. And what's also very good is that the loss in PyTorch allows for multiple samples. So let's increase our samples here. So let's say we have three samples, so three possible classes. Then our tensor must have three class labels, our actual Y. So for example, two, zero, and one and then our predictions must be here of size number of samples times the number of classes so now this is of size three by three so let's do this so here we must put in another list with three values so um like this and like this. So let's say this one is a good prediction. So the first class, the first correct label is class number two. So this one must have the highest value and this one must be low. So let's say 0 0.01. And here the very first one, uh, the first class must have a high value. So like this. And then the value in the middle must have the highest raw value. So for example, like this. And then we do the same for our bad prediction. And let's say here we have this one higher and also change this a little bit. And then we can again compute the cross uh, the cross entropy loss with multiple samples. And now let's run this. And then we also see here again, our first prediction is good and has a low loss. And the second one is not so good. And yeah, here we get the correct predictions from the first um, prediction tensor. So here we also have two zero one, like in the actual Y. So yeah, this is how we can use the cross entropy loss in PyTorch. And now let's go back to our slides. So now I want to show you how a typical neural network looks like. So here is a typical neural net in a multi-class classification problem. So here we want to find out what animal our image shows. So we have an input layer and then some hidden layers and maybe some activation functions in between. And then at the end we have a linear layer with one output for each class. So here we have two outputs. And then at the very end, we apply our softmax and get the probabilities. So now, as I said, in PyTorch, we must be careful because we use the cross entropy loss here. So we must not use the softmax layer uh, in our neural net. So we must not implement this for ourselves. So let's have a look at how this 
code looks. So in a multi-class classification, our net, for example, uh, looks like this. So we, we define our layers. So we have one linear layer, which gets an input size and then a hidden size. Then we have an activation function in between. And then our last layer, it gets the hidden size. And then the output size is the number of classes. So for each possible class, we have one output. And then in the forward method, so here we only apply our layers and then no soft max here at the very end. And then we create our model and then we use the cross entropy loss, which then applies the soft max. So yeah, be careful here. And um, so this example also works for more classes. So if our image could, for example, also be a bird or a mouse or whatever, then this is also the correct layout. But if we just have a binary classification problem with two possible outputs, then we can change our layer like this. So now we rephrase our question. So we just say, is it a dog? Yes or no. And then here at the end, we have a linear layer with only one output. And then we do not use the softmax function, but we use the sigmoid function, which then gets a probability. And if this is higher than 0.5, then we say yes. And here in PyTorch, we use the BCE loss or binary cross entropy loss. So here we must implement the uh, sigmoid function at the end. So let's have a look at our neural net in a binary classification case. So again, here first we set up our layers and our activation functions. And the last layer has the output size one. So this is always fixed in this case. And then in the forward pass, now here, after we applied our layers, we also must implement the sigmoid function. So yeah, and then here as a criterion, we use the binary cross entropy loss. So be very careful here about these two different um, different possible neural nets. And yeah, but that's basically what I wanted to show you. Um, so the last structure is also what I used in the logistic regression tutorial. So you can check that out if you haven't already. And for now, that's all I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed it and understood everything. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this tutorial, then please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.